You're eating too many protein. I've seen athletes eating 350, 400 grams of protein. I mean, it's mad. And the funny thing is, is no one can give a scientific explanation of why you're eating so many protein. So usually they say, oh, I see these athletes eating so many protein. So in order to become like him, I'm going to do it. Or this coach told me, because his coach told this, because his coach of the coach told him. Or the scientific explanation is, you need so many protein to boost the protein synthesis and give enough material to grow. And this is wrong. Long story short, the ISSN position stand dictate that 1.4 up to 2 grams per kilo of protein per day is enough to maintain and support the growth of athletes. So if you weight 100 kilos, you need 140 up to 200 grams of protein per day, and that's enough. And then I mean all the protein, not just meat, eggs, fish, all the protein, also the one from rice, cereals, legumes, whatever. And saying, oh, I'm going to eat more protein because I want to be sure to have enough material. It's like saying, you know, I have this remote controller, there are two batteries there, I'm going to buy 10 batteries in order to have a more powerful controller. It's just stupid. It doesn't work that way. And why why I'm telling you this because there are some common side effects of high protein intake. How many bodybuilders do you know that have issues of midsection, gastrointestinal, digestion, and they struggle to eat everything they need during the off season plan? I think 95. 99%? That's because the proteins are harder to digest, but most of all, they destroy the gut microbacteria. And these bacteria there are involved in so many processes, not just absorbing the nutrient in the best way possible, but also lowering the cholesterol because they produce short chain fatty acids. They lower the inflammation, they help the immune system, they improve the insulin sensitivity, improve sleep, improve recovery. They're basically involved in everything. That's why the latest study on nutrition so focus on this matter. But I'll give you that there are some evidence some little studies that shows that up to 2.7 grams of kilos of protein per day you can boost and improve protein synthesis but in order to do that i don't need to eat so many proteins i just need some essential aminos is a smarter way because i'm going to add 20 up to 40 grams of essential aminos during the day intra workout or between the meals and I can boost massively the protein synthesis and the best thing is that i'm going to do it with the less total amino acid intake during the day. So, no many side effects. That's the best case scenario. That's the best of both worlds. I know you, I know you're fucking scared of lowering the protein down, but I promise you, the excess of protein are just creating damage. The body is converting it to glucose, so it's it's really no sense. Just try it and let me know what you think. Comment below, and if you love my Italian gesture and my Italian accent or whatever, then follow me on Instagram to have more videos like that.